Hey everybody, it's Tommy92L here with another splendid, mind-blowing, insane, winning tutorial on how you would create uh, realistic-looking scenes in Halo. Yes, this is real. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's it's just something that... Uh, how would I say this? It's something that's time-consuming, and if you really don't want to learn it, and if you don't want to do it, then you're not going to have... A scene that that is, you know, probably out of the ordinary. That's just me. That's what I think. But I've noticed that the stuff I've been doing lately, whatever, really hasn't been getting too many hits. <laughs> Even though I've been trying to branch out and try stuff that's new and different. But, you know, it just seems to me that people love that Spartans versus Elites on Forge World with a bunch of armies. But hey, more power to them. You know, if, if that if that's what get gets the views, more power to them. But I love doing this, and, and it seems anytime I try to branch out and do something new, it just gives people more of a reason to attack it or dislike it. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to say, because anytime I see someone color correcting like a film, and people say uh, I don't like the film, you know what I mean? Like they'll say I don't like it as a whole. But then when I color correct it and shit, they Holy shit. And, and I really am not talking about one person in specific. I'm not, I'm not like that. But I'm saying in general, people seem to know that maybe I've, I, I don't know, that I like editing a lot. And then they go and talk about shit they don't even know. Like someone said, I don't like filters. As like I said, I'm not attacking them. But you need to understand that this is not just a filter. You know, it's it, it's not like I can just throw this on. And that's it. You know, that's a filter. No, it's a it's a series of effects applied to each other. That's what it looks like before. And that's what it looks like after. If you ask me, if you ask me, this is a step above a filter. Regardless, here's another one, too. This one was freaking cool. This one was just fun to play with. So ready? Here we go, folks. So that's before, and that's after. I, I I don't know, man. I love that shit, dude. I love seeing how stuff looks different. I I get sick of seeing Halo look the same in every single film, and then I don't know how many times I can say it. And then when I try to make something new and different that maybe people will enjoy, they say they don't like it. But hey, fuck them. <laughs> I don't make this shit to show off either. I, I do it for people to enjoy and say, you know, I like that. That's different. That's cool. Show me how to do it. But there's been yet to have one person to say that. I mean, at least with, with this effect. All right. We will move through this fast, folks. So we get your clip. Drag it into place. Okay, so here's where we start. Beginning and then ending. I'll show you the way I do this. Right click new and then we'll make a solid. I'll run through this fast. Uh, whichever color the light is that you want to make, make it that color. Uh, this is not the light by the way, it's part of the light. So we'll make it like a light blue, like a baby blue, because that's what I had, that was what the color of the light was. And we will circle around, wait is this like oversized? No. And then what we're going to do is we're going to circle around the subject. The part where you want lit. Lighted. Change it to soft light. Hit T. And bring it down. F to feather it. Bring it up to, I don't know, like 60 or something. Mm -hmm. Never let your light shine down. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Winning. That looks good. Doesn't look too harsh. And you'll see how we blend it. New. Solid. Make it black. Lens flare. L-E-N-S. Alright. Change it to the 105mm prime. Drag it up here. Make it very bright. Or where, wherever your light is. <laughs> Change it to screen. Screen. 
and that's good. You want it, you want it bright. You know, that's the whole point of uh, emphasizing the whole, you know, light <laughs> winning. <laughs> I'll stop saying that, Charlie Sheen shit. Sorry. All right, now we're gonna do new, you know, uh, solid black again. Go to YouTube and type in how to make snow in CC Particle World for this, because there's something called CC Particle World. There it is. I forget how to make snow in it because I just use particular. Regardless, you don't have to. If you're not using the snow, you just throw snow on. That's what I do. Make sure it's underneath the light. You got to make sure it's underneath the light so that it actually shows how it's being affected. You know, so you're like, oh, wow, that snow's actually. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Is it coming out on the side? Yeah. It's fine. All right. Sometimes people say, you know, it's better to have smaller flakes of snow, but I think that crowds the scene. And although you want to have as realistic as possible, like I know that's my goal. There's some things that I kind of contradict and I don't like when the flakes are that small because it crowds the scene. Yeah. I'd rather have a lot of, what do you call it? Just bigger flakes. Sorry. That may happen a few times, but that's because I have so many other projects being rendered. All right. So there you go. There's your snow. Um, what else is there? Oh, of course. New. This is the main part of the actual deal. New, and then you do adjustment layer. And pick a spot where your your subject is, you know, primarily there, like the the average spot that he's gonna be in. So we'll do that. Uh well do that now. And uh by the way, I just threw the lens flare underneath the blue solid because it looks better. It gives it more of a blue tone. The adjustment layer, what we'll do is we'll take a mask. Now you're probably saying, well, what are we going to mask out on the adjustment layer? Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, circle around your, your subject. Like so. There you go. Now add a fast blur. Depth of field's hard <clears throat> because, you know, you really don't want to rotoscope out your whole guy. I mean, you can go for it, but uh, I want to change this to subtract. But this is the equivalent of cheap depth of field and it tricks people and it works so fade it up there we go now hit F on the mask filter the balls out of it <laughs> feather not filter feather well no according to you guys it's a filter <laughs> there we go and that looks good now as you can see he is uh he's focused on Bam. All right, let's see it, guys. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Nice. So that was good so far. But although we've added effects, we have not color corrected because this is not color correcting. We'll add another adjustment layer, and I'm going to say this is blunt, as straightforward as possible. Make it dark. Because if you're having a light, you know, that's why it's really not bad. You're probably saying, oh, I'm going to make every scene dark. Yeah, bitch, you is. And the reason why is because, you know, if you're adding lights, that probably means that it's a well-lit area. Or You know what I mean? If you're adding lights, it probably means you're trying to light it up. I, I don't know how to explain it. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're going out of your way to add an effect like this, at least make it so the area is dark so it sticks out. Bam. Look at that shit. Yeah, motherfucker, slow it down. All right, new... Solid, black, winning, <laughs> crush it, and uh, as you guys know, uh, you can close out if you're done here. Here are your widescreen bars. <laughs> I For a second there, I thought I said ice cream bars. Ice cream! And uh, if you're looking for a bit of excitement... I've done this before. I'm going to do it extremely fast. Wait, you know, it's in my other composition. Oh, yeah. I basically just motion tracked a, uh, a lens flare to his head to make it look like he has a flashlight. And it looks sweet. Because with this light, it kind of creates like a misty effect. And the great thing about artificial lights is you can add whatever elements on top you want. And it'll start to look like it's actually interacting with the environment. I've said it once, I've said it again. I don't get how people... Oh, fixed it. I, I just don't get how people don't find this sweet, you know? <laughs> I don't get how people don't find this shit cool. But hey, you know, whatever. Whatever.
uh, <clears throat> complete change. Just absolutely different scene. You'd never know it was the same game. This one looks way more advanced. and Look at that. Alright. Peace, guys. I really hoped you liked this. I tried to do it as fast as I could, but, um... If not... I, I mean, I'm sorry if you don't, but... Hey, I'm doing my tutorials, and... I'm doing my shit. If you don't like it, then don't fucking watch my videos. And I guess <laughs> the 104 people who do watch my videos, you can like it. But the other couple million out there who are on machinima.com, who probably just flame the shit out of this guy, fuck off.